You've heard the importance of having a cybersecurity home lab, but have no idea where to start. In this video, I'm gonna go over five cybersecurity home labs that you can do today for different types of purposes. You really have to know what you want to do in order to set up a lab based on what skills that you want to learn. So hopefully by the end of the video, you're gonna have a better idea of all of the cybersecurity niches that exist in the world, and maybe you'll discover something that you like. What type of laptop do I need for cybersecurity? And and that all depends. You can build a lot of things in the cloud, but there is also a good reason to have actual hardware and then configure that up. And Raspberry Pis are also extremely useful to use with the cloud. Honestly, it really just depends on what type of lab you want to build. And then from there, you can figure out what you can do on the cloud and what you can't do on the cloud. If you wanna do like different types of penetration testing, I know there are rules and regulations by both cloud, Azure and AWS S about say DDoS attacks. And you have to ask for approval before doing certain types of penetration testing. I honestly would just do a home lab just because I want to be safe and don't wanna accidentally start an attack on something if I'm just like fumbling around. Like and comment. Subscribe if you want to know more about cybersecurity niches and cybersecurity careers and resumes and IT help. So leave a comment below. The first one is WebGoat. I'm currently working through WebGoat. I find the OAuth top 10 absolutely fascinating. And the WebGoat is basically an insecure web application. Web application security is really hard to learn and there's not a lot of resources or books or sort certifications for web application security. Not many people have full-blown web applications. They actually provide you a web application that's deliberately insecure that you can download. It does make your machine really insecure. You want to make sure that you are not connected to the internet when going through this. And also remember, like you can't just go and try to find vulnerabilities in people's web applications without permission. I do want to add that I'm not condoning any of this. I'll leave a link below of all the various types of goats some for internet of things, IOT devices, mobile applications, web applications, infrastructure, which is a huge security concern and whatnot. So go check out those and then kind of just explore, see what you like best. And this is more on the offensive or red team, could also become a web application engineer based on these skills. My next home lab idea that I have discovered is from Cyberwalks Academy. He actually has a YouTube channel and this is by far one of the best labs that I have come across and he walks you through step by step better than any $15,000 cybersecurity bootcamp that you will ever encounter. Because not only are you getting the experience of configuring the machine, but he also has different exercises with this home lab. It even has Kali Linux. It has a security information event manager. It has security onion, which is really good if you want to become a cybersecurity analyst. If you want to get hands on, this is the place to go and this is all free. Like he's not charging for this. He really should because this is better than anything you would get at any boot camp. You could also set up autopsy, which is a forensic suite that is commonly used, and you could probably try out different things for computer forensics. The next cybersecurity home lab is a Active Directory hacking lab. Now you can find this tutorial on the Cyber Mentor, and it's basically just what it sounds. You're building an Active Directory environment so you can try to hack it. This is more on the red team. So if you're interested in the red team, this might be for you. The next lab is more of a compliance automation lab. So if you want to do defensive team and you want a compliance job, it might be good to figure out how to automate the checks that you do. And usually people will do that through like Ansible. Ansible is a really common configuration management for automating tasks. And a lot of companies use these big configuration management tools such as Ansible because it's a lot easier to learn than Python. Doing repetitive work such as checking an audit list, try to find an automation with that and then build an automation based on audit lists. And all you would really have to do is just download Ansible, which is free, and then get a compliance list for say a computer, how to do the checks for you automatically, and then have it rerun say every three or four months. You're not only learning automation, but you're also gonna learn compliance and all of that shabam. Common compliance, FISMA, GDPR, HIPAA, PCI, standard regulation, 
applications and whatnot. So check those out, see what they entail. Maybe you can set up a network environment and then run checks based on one of their audit lists. The next one is to build a home lab in the cloud, but with Raspberry Pis. This isn't so much cybersecurity, but I'm sure you could add more cybersecurity things to it. It just would be a really good learning experience to learn how Raspberry Pis work and then it could also open up a lot of opportunities to you if you know how to set up the cloud and Raspberry Pi to work together and to learn a lot about networking while doing that, which is a valuable skill in itself, just setting this lab up and then maybe do an audit on your own. That is my last lab. What do y'all think? Is there a certain niche in cybersecurity that you're interested in that you would like a home lab on? Comment below and thanks for watching. Check out all of my other videos on cybersecurity and IT and I will see you next time. Thanks.